Hello friends! So, we continue with our fighting game tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn how to add dodging movements to the characters of our fighting game created with the Unreal Engine. In this lesson I am going to use the dodging animations which come with the Ghost Samurai Bundle by Ramster Z, which is available on Epic Marketplace. But you can use any animations of your choice, of course. Let me remind the true fighting game engine is my project for Unreal Engine that allows you create your own AAA class fighting games. You can easily add attacks, combos and hit animations, import characters based on any skeletons and create either single player or multiplayer fighting games. You can check out my other tutorials in this playlist to learn how to do all of this. And with the true fighting game engine you can create either Mortal Kombat style or Tekken style games depending on your needs. You can find the link to that project in the description below this video. So I have extracted a brand new true FG project which is in the left window on my screen. So let's start it. Now I'm going to use uh, dodge animations from the Ghost Samurai Bundle. They are developed for the katana, but they work fine for a melee combat as well. Uh, so let's import them by just copying them. Let's uh, navigate the content in the, our TrueFG folder. Content, TrueFG, Demo, Characters. Mannequin fighting animations. And let's open the dodge animations folder. And I'm going to import the root uh, dodging animations from the Ghost Samurai bundle. They were developed uh, for the UE4 skeleton. I don't know, maybe there is now already updated version that is uh, compatible with the UE5 skeleton, but I have downloaded it a while ago, so I am importing this for the UE4, for my mannequin. Now let's open up our Unreal Editor. Alright, let's open our content drawer uh, and navigate the content through FG, demo, characters, mannequin, dodge and open up the root folder by the way you may need to restart your editor to get them to to see them now these animations have been developed for the ufo skeleton that comes with the samurai bundle we are not going to import that uh, skeleton because we have our own one in the true fighting game engine so we hold the shift key on our keyboard and with our mouse we select all the animations from this folder and we right click with our mouse and we select the replace skeleton and we select our ue4 mannequin skeleton that comes with the fighting game fighting game engine all right and we save everything now, what we are also going to do, let's select all the animations once again, right click, we are going to enable the root motion for these animations, and we choose the asset actions from our menu, and then we select the bulk edit by a property matrix, alright, uh -huh. and we see that the enable root motion has been enabled for all of them, that's all right. All right, let's check them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. So now uh, let's create a new folder here and name montages. We already have one montage here, let's move it to this folder. And let's create animation montages from all of these animations. So we select them all 
and we select create create any montage right and we have created animation montages for all the animation sequences and let's select all the montages we create we have created and move them to the montages folder as well let's say all so we will be using these montages for our mannequin uv4 and yellow spider characters now let's retarget these animations to the ue5 skeleton to use them with our ue5 characters let's select them all once again and we select the retarget animation assets and the duplicate and retarget animation assets option and as an ik retargeter we select the rtg ue4 money ue5 money and yes we are going to retarget to the queen mesh let's set the suffix type underscore ue5 and we are going to change the output folder for our retargeted animations and we select the tent to fg demo characters queen fighting animations and we do already have here some placeholders for our dodging and a corresponding folder so let's retarget the assets to this dodge root motion folder press ok and retarget and we have retargeted all the animation sequences and now let's check that the root motion is enabled for them as well we right click asset actions bulk edit via property matrix yes that's all right and let's create montages for all these dodging animations we right click and select the create any montage and we select all the montages we have just created and just for clarity just for housekeeping let's move them to the montages folder and we save all now how are we going to set the dodging animations for our UE5, for all of our UE5 characters, we are going to to open our cart and drawer, navigate to content, through FG blueprint, and open the BP through FG base character. So by overriding them for this character, we will uh, set them up for all of our UE5 characters as is it parent for all of them later if we need to we can set specific dodge animations for for any of the child characters but for now we just open the base character select the root component at the left in the components tab and at the right in the details tab we type dodge to find it out and instead of the placeholders that come with the true fighting game engine by default let's select the montages from the set we have just imported i think i remember some of them so do you remember we have named that with the ue5 suffix to make it more comfortable to find them for the dodge back we will select I think this one for the dodge forward montage. Let's select that U5 dodge, and I think there was a slide forward animation, and we select this one. And for the dodge left, and here is you see this L. This means left. So. I select this Ghost Samurai Apples Dodge L and for the right Dodge R. Right. And I compile and I save. 
Let's see how it goes. Let's run the game. And let's try this out. Right. Yeah, it's work. It's working. Let's see. Touch left, touch right, right, back, and forward. All right. And now, just to finish it up, let's also set it, set the dodging animations for our UE4 main skeleton. And to do so, I open content drawer, draw FG, demo characters, mannequin. And I open the BP through FG mannequin UE4. And I search for dodge in the details. And let's now test it out for our, let's say one, well, and let's test it out for our U4 uh, characters as well. So to do so, let's set up the right characters, the right character with the U4 mannequin. In the updated version of the True Fighting Game Engine, we do this for the game instance. So we open our content drawer, go to the true FG blueprints and open the game instance BP blueprint. And we select the character left. And as the character BP, we select the BP through FG many as the mesh. We select the mannequin. And now we set the character left name. I set it to mannequin. UE4. Alright. Compile and save. And let's test it out. Oh yeah. This does work. Mm -hmm. 